we're going to see how to go from printing out a literal string, meaning that it's all double quoted and it's all exactly what you see here in the orange. And what I want to do is print the same string, but I want to slip the name and location and age and GPA in for every place I see Chris, I want to put the name in there. So we'll just naively put name, hit run, run is F6, and it says I am name from Earth. Uh, so we don't want to do exactly that. So what we do is we break the string here, and we're going to concatenate, which means whatever the first string is, is going to be attached to the second string, and then attached to the rest here. So let's go ahead and run this, and you're going to see it's exactly what we wanted. And we can change this. You can change it to anything you want, and it will print right there in the middle of the string. All right, let's take care of location. Now location appears three different times, so we're gonna have to do this thrice. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna replace that with the quotes, plus, now in here, I put location. Um, once you have this, you could copy and paste it if you're careful. Let's see how well this works. All right. Now you can tell by the fact that I'm scrolling that this is obnoxiously long print statement. So let's go ahead and we'll break it up here. Well, I want to have that period in there. So I'll just print out this. Hello, I am name from location and there's a period. Um, I do have an error and it's because I have two pluses in a row. I should only have one plus. The white space in between the pluses doesn't matter. I just put it in there to make it look nicer when I read it. So there's our first sentence, I am Chris from Earth. Okay, now I want another print statement, sout tab, and I'm gonna put the rest of this here, and then run it. And I want to split GPA off into its own print statement. Now you'll notice something is happening here. You can break print statements across multiple lines, but I'm not going to. Hmm. Usually sout tab works. Oh, okay. ah, because I didn't finish the previous line right here, line 25. Now. <clears throat> now, sout is working. And we'll go ahead and load up the third print statement. All right, so it looks a lot better, uh, except I want all this in one line, not on its own line. So we can remove the ln at the end of the print statement. I'll leave the last one. Well, I'll take it off, and then you'll see why I'll put it back. Uh, so we got some problems. There's no space after the first period. So there's a few choices. I could put the space here after the period or I could put the space here before I. And I'll do the same thing before my. Delete that space. And we'll go ahead and run it one more time. And it says build successful on the same line as my print statement. So I want a new line on the last print statement. I have two choices. I could LN right there, or I could slash N, which is a new line. There we go. So I want to now swap out 99 for age. Here we go, age is there. 
Uh, but you can see it goes 99 Earth. I want a space between age and location. So how do we do that? We have to put another plus and then add an additional single space in between these two. And I think we're set except my GPA number right there. Um, this unfortunately is gonna be ugly and I'm not gonna go into how to format floats or doubles. Uh, so I'm just gonna put GPA in here. Oh, okay, it did actually do a good job of that, okay. Sometimes your float might not have the decimal uh, accuracy you're thinking it does, but these are all working just fine, so never mind. All right, and so the, I'm gonna say float instead of double. They're similar, except different. Uh, all right, so that is how to space things out and have them look normal with spaces, commas, and all that fun stuff. Uh, so your GPA should be 3.25. There we go, 3.25.